Hello there, welcome to another video and in this video we will talk about internet and web. Some people often use the word internet and web interchangeably but this usage is technically incorrect. So in this video let's discuss how is it incorrect. According to the definition, the internet is an enormous network of billions of connected computers and other hardware devices. Each device can connect with any other device as long as they both are connected to the internet. But in other hand, the web consists of the web pages you can view when you go online on the internet using your hardware device. I think this might be confusing to you, so let's make it simple as it sounds. First, let's talk about internet. In simple words, the internet is a hardware infrastructure. What I mean by this is that the internet is a massive combination of billions of connected devices located worldwide and connected wires, cables and wireless signals. The device may be a large mainframe, uh, your desktop computer, your smartphone, laptop and other devices that have the capability to access the internet. There is a little bit history about the internet that you must know. The internet was born in 1960s under the name ARPANET as an experiment how the US military could maintain the communication in the case of possible nuclear strike. With time, ARPANET became a civilian experiment and they start connecting the university mainframe's computer for academic purposes. After some years, as personal computers become mainstream in the 1980s and 1990s, the internet grows exponentially as more users plug their computer into the massive network. Today, the internet has grown into a public spider web of billions of personal, government, educational and commercial computer devices, all interconnected by cables and wireless signals. The internet is decentralized, so therefore no any single entity owns the internet and no single government has authority over its operations. Now let's talk about the web. The web is the information on the internet. You have to access the internet to view the World Wide Web and any of the web pages or other content it contains. The web is the information sharing portion of the web. The web consists of billions of digital pages that are visible through your web browser software of your computer. These pages contain many types of contents including static contents such as encyclopedia pages and dynamic contents such as uh, uh, eBay sales, stock, weather news or traffic reports. Okay, the important thing is that web pages are connecting using the hypertext transfer protocol, that is HTTP. You might notice that whenever you open any web page, the link of the web page always starts from the HTTP or HTTPS. HTTP is the coding language that allows you to jump to any public web page by clicking a link or knowing a URL, which is the unique address for each web page on the internet. So the whole thing is that the web is just one part of the internet. All the web pages containing a numerous amount of information, but they are not only way of information shared over the internet. The internet, not the web, okay? The internet is also used for email, instant messages and file transfer. The web is large portion of the internet, but it isn't all of it. Okay, I hope you got the point and uh, this video ends here. So if this video is helpful for you, then share it with other people and do hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.